worth it. And yes, it affects Farsa, but with Harith available, he currently for the showdown here. Smooth is going to start things off, jumping into the middle of that fight, but Barbosa, he sees the opportunity. Feathered Airstrike going to zone off the rest. Valance finds an opportunity into the real wall manipulation, like the final blow connects on nobody, and an instant double kill for Subway. Nicely played by Team SMG. That was their abilities back up. A lot of pressure from Team Oh, hold on! He gets a catch. King's calling as well. Smooth stuck and unable. Is walking up as if he has his ult. They don't know. Ooh. Oh, he flickers for it. It actually calls right off of the timer. Sasa able to walk out just in time. The King's, uh, the Spear of Glory doesn't connect. And Homeboys will secure this objective. And this is going to escalate into the fight. Zaman Force has been popped. And Barbosa walking into all five metal. But as we speak. Yeah, bottom side is getting attacked here. Yeah, they secure the kill and Valance gets a clean his flicker. He's gonna need it for this upcoming turtle fight. Let's see how it goes. It's gonna be the real world manipulation and the feathered air strike onto Warlord to start things off. Electro final blow does not connect, but they immediately jump on top of Yeve. They are willing to give away this turtle to innate them, enable themselves. Now the rest of the team are scrambling around. A smooth chase is Zubbot. The King's Calling is already down and with no flicker. He's gonna get chased to the ends of the earth, but it's gonna be Chibi who gets good damage onto Subway. He needs to escape. Sasa finally joining this fight. He's waiting for the opportunity, waiting for the spells. Chrono Fisher into the Chrono Dash. Five Finally dropping the Zaman Force to find the trade one for one. Chaotic right there with the turtle trade. Team SMG making a very smart choice to go for... Oh, they're still continuing. And they secure the kill. This is great for Team SMG. What? Damage as homeboys are all grouped up nice and snug. No commitments from anything. Valance, the old tries to open up the map and sees on it. Real one manipulation is not going to let him go. It's the feathered air is his paw, but it's going to be smooth who finds the electo final blow of a lifetime. Two for one trade so far. Double kill as Sasa backs off in the king's call. Should be able to get out of here with his dash. Oh, oh but no. Sapat's waiting. Yep, Sapat's waiting. Falls into the spear of Chibi. But it's going to be up to just Anip and as well as Warlord to hold the back line. And instantly, Sapat comes in with the King's Call. And Feathered Airstrike has a quick response. Chibi is outside as the real war manipulation is helpful. But Valance too deep in. Smooth ends up dying as well. No tankiness to keep him allowed. They're going to start bursting it down. Real war manipulation has been popped. And Smooth is waiting. Zaman Force has been dropped. And the King's Call keeps him in place. He can't get out. And Warlord is able to secure the kill. They're on the run with no members left. Three against five. Oh, Warlord. But it's unfortunate. Bouncing ball not going to do much. Smooth is too far away. And Anip chunks them out. The attempt has failed. Valens ends up dying. The King's call and locks down Sasa as he walks just out of it. Losing two inhibitors as a response. But here comes the real one manipulation as a response. The King's calling hasn't been dropped. The Spear of Glory already doing God's work. Valens tries an opportunity on Anip. It doesn't go through. Anip is on the crystal right now. Nobody's stopping him. Anybody stop him.